Kenya tamu sana tamu sana tamu sana about two days ago mamangina kenyatta urged the kikuyu community to listen to president uhuru Mwigai kenyatta and that was seen as if she was campaigning for raila mulo odinga and that did not go on well with william ruto's foot soldiers specifically cosmos Choi, a William Ruto pointman in the United States of America. So yesterday, yesterday, Cosmos Choi actually came out guns blazing and attacked, abused, insulted Mamangina Kenyatta. Yes, very badly. Insults that actually we cannot show here. And then today, a group of women leaders, led by Nairobi Governor Anne Kananu, Rachel Sebesh, and also Pasaris, came out guns blazing, demanding an apology from William Ruto and also from this man. And actually, Cosmos Choi actually apologized. So in this video, I want us to have a look at Cosmos Choice apology and the demand by these women leaders, after which, as usual, we are just going to dissect that to see exactly what it means politically. Listen into this. <laughs> Yes, Cosmo, baby, Cosmo, Danny, Danny, Cosmo, I, Cosmo, Joy. I'm here. I'm here to make remarks. I'm here strongly to apologize to the family of Kenyatta family, the entire family. I'm here to apologize to Nama, our Mama Gina. I'm here to apologize to our president, our outgoing president, Uru Kenyatta. I'm sorry for the remarks that I made a few days ago. I regret on behalf of my family. I do apologize. Paul Esana, I didn't mean it. Mama Ingia Siasa Kaongea, Chuya Ruto, Aumuna Chuami Napenda Ruto, Lakini Siasa Nibaya. So I do apologize. Paul Esana Kwa Family, Paul Esana Mama, Kwa Ni Mama Wetu. Something sweet to have a mom alive. I lost my mom, Priscilla, and I'll never see her again. So, Pole, Naesa Sema Pole Sana, through my heart. Mulisame, Namimi Kama Mulikosea Pali Sasingene Naskia Ujungu, Mulikosame, we are human beings, we make mistakes, and we forgive each other. Siasa itakucha na itaenda Uhuru ataenda Tutakuwa na mwingine Na uyu mwingine ataenda So Sisi tutapaki Pole sana Asante sana
Mungu awabariki wote. God bless our beautiful country Kenya. God bless our 50th president Bill Samoei Ruto. That's all I can say. Thank you. Yes. What does that mean politically? In case you've bumped here for the very first time, kindly subscribe, give this video a like. What does that mean politically? William Ruto is not giving the right direction to his people, to his foot soldiers, to his supporters. William Ruto himself has taught his supporters and his foot soldiers to be insulting their political opponents. William Ruto himself is on record attacking and insulting his political opponents. I'm talking about a William Ruto who consistently brands Raila Molo Odinga Mganga. A William Ruto who consistently brands Raila Molo Odinga Yule Mze Wabitenda Wili. And if you listen to leaders supporting William Ruto, even the likes of Musala Mudabadi, who just joined William Ruto recently, they are now branding Raila Molo Odinga Yule Mze Wabitenda Wili. Yes. And I've not forgotten about Moses Kurias remarks some few days ago about an oath that was taken in, I don't know, 1969. And Moses Kuria largely, if you listen to Moses Kuria, he is also very full of insults. Same to this Ndinyoro, same to Kimani Chumwa, same to Rigadi Gashagwa, same to Bahati member of parliament, Kimani Ngunjiri. Oscar Sudi is also in the mix. So it seems to appear that William Ruto is the problem. All these William Ruto foot soldiers are just learning insults or are they are just copying from their master. So from where I sit, the biggest problem is William Ruto. These are just leaders trying to please or to impress him. So William Ruto, in my considered opinion, is the person who should actually apologize on behalf of his foot soldiers who have all along been ab abusing and attacking other leaders. That's one thing, ladies and gentlemen. And then secondly, it shows clearly, without any doubt at all, that Tanga Tanga, Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance, is full of goons, full of hooligans, full of people who do not meet hmm, leadership and integrity. They, they just don't meet that requirement. Hmm. These are just goons. These are not leaders. And I'm saying that with a lot of confidence. These are not leaders. And I think it's high time that such kind of leaders should actually even be barred from contesting for any elective seat. These are just goons. William Ruto is actually on record branding some community. Wale watu wakumua really. Wale watu wakurusha mawe. And he's doing that cleverly in the disguise that he is attacking Raila politically. But the aim of William Ruto is to stereotype the Luo community. These are not leaders, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. And then largely, if you look at that team called Tangatanga, a majority of leaders in that team these are people accused of mega corruption, corruption scandals, mega corruption scandals. In fact, in 2018, Sinovich Research Firm did an opinion poll and asked Kenyans a very simple question. Who do you think is the most corrupt Kenyan alive? William Ruto was ranked as the most 
corrupt Kenyan alive, followed by Anweguru. And then just recently, Rigati Gashagwa was also charged in a court of law, accused of embezzlement, or rather irregularly, acquiring tenders worth over 12 billion Kenya shillings. They have all ganged in one camp. That only shows, ladies and gentlemen, that these are birds of the same feathers. In fact, if you listen to the video of this man calling himself Choi, insulting Mamangina Kenyatta, you can actually just fail to understand hey, which, which type of people are these. Are these really Kenyans? Mm? They are really getting it wrong. Mm? Politics has not reached that stage. Mm? Something has to be done, ladies and gentlemen. And also, as we head towards August election, it's up to Kenyans now hmm, to see for themselves which side they think actually represents their interest world. Hmm. It's up to them to make a decision. Because it's now coming out clearly, and I'm saying this without taking sides, it's coming out clearly that we have a team of political leaders who are yet to mature politically. Eh? This is, we have a team that are yet to mature politically. They are full of insults. They are full of hate, full of lies and propaganda. That is coming out clearly. And that's William Ruto's team. Hmm? So it's up to Kenyans to make their own decision whether they want these crooks as their elected leaders or whether they want leadership. Otherwise, ladies and gentlemen, just as I did state when you were starting, in case you've bumped here for the very first time, kindly subscribe, give this video a like. Give it a like, please. And before I conclude, Cosmo Choi have tried to go through some of his previous remarks. This is a man who is constantly abusing and attacking other leaders. It's not the first time. In fact, if you go through eh, some of the videos that actually have been shared online about this man, it's all about insults. There is no single day this man talks without actually insulting their competitors or their political opponents. So this is something this man is used to. He is used to insults and is just doing exactly what his master is also doing, attacking and abusing other leaders. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. God bless you. God bless Kenya.